Here's how to rename columns in Google Sheets. Unfortunately, we cannot rename the A, B, C, D at the very top, but very typical of spreadsheets and Google Sheets is that the first row is what we call headers. And if we want to rename these, we just have to double click on them and start typing. This could be employee name, and we might be able to shorten this, D-E-P-T. We can also copy paste text on top or just start typing. Maybe this is supposed to be start date. And if you have a list of hundreds and hundreds of rows and your headers, or that first row is hiding or hidden or just disappearing, what we can do is take this hand right above the one, click and drag it and freeze the first row. We can also go up to view, freeze one row, and that'll also freeze the first row or keep the headers there as we scroll down hundreds or thousands of rows, that first row will be frozen and we can see the headers all the time. Typical also is to highlight the header row with some kind of color and different text color. So we can see this is the header row. And we're not limited to only one row. If we want to insert a row above, we can and get rid of the formatting and we can insert another row. We can insert many rows. What might happen though is if you insert too many rows above this header row and above this frozen row is that your view will be too small to see anything. But it's totally possible. Maybe you want to add some data up here, some charts, anything like that. Maybe you want to do some analysis up here, totals, like if you want to total your salary row. That's a lot of salary. Wow. Hope you enjoyed how to rename columns and if you're looking to get more out of your Google Sheets, make better sheets in life, in work, everywhere. Subscribe here on YouTube to Better Sheets.